I'm looking at my cat in the background. Can you see him? I think he's trying to do something. Boy, Leah, what are you doing? Bye bye. See something? Huh? I show you something. <laughs> Come here. Okay, guys. We have been keeping isopods for a few weeks now, and today I saw some cute babies. They finally have babies. They are inside here, so I'm gonna show you the tiny ones, but before that, I'm gonna show you the big ones first. Okay, I'm going to show you the adult one first. They are black and white, just like the name itself. This is a whole colony of dairy cow as isopods. One thing I like about them is they are not scared of humans. They will walk around, they are not shy compared to the others. Now I'm gonna look for the babies. Okay, we found some babies. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, so tiny. Way tinier. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna show you the adults. Yeah, the, look at the adults and the babies. Wow, the size difference. So cute! Did not expect them to have babies this soon. Wow! There's plenty more of babies but I think we have to dig but we're not gonna disturb them anymore. They are pretty easy to keep. Look at how active they are. This is a nice cool pet. If you are not afraid of any cockroaches or what. It seems like they have a very busy life. Look at them, just go about their own life, their own things. We feed them, um, usually we feed them veggie. This is a pumpkin. And we're using moss. For their little enclosure, we keep it quite moist. That's how they like it. One side is wet, one side is drier, and also they are in air conditioned room, so it's cool. Looks like they are thriving in this condition. The dairy cow is eating some veggie at the moment. 
How cute is that? Oh my gosh. If you are thinking about keeping isopods, I think dairy cow isopods are the best choice. As you can see, they are very active. You can see them walking here and there, roaming here and there, and you can even see them eating. Then they are way easier to keep than other types of isopods. Can see they are not shy at all and if you keep them really well you have a chance to grow your own colony and the reason why we keep them one side wet and one side drier is because they get to choose where they want to be There's one eating here, usually they are very territorial so we have seen if one is eating and another one come along they wouldn't want to share the other one that came first will usually kick off the other one you Look at this guy If you look closely, you can actually see the inside of the body mm -hmm. Okay, we, we should capture this in macro. Yeah.
Do let me know if you have any questions regarding keeping eye support and I will try to answer them in the comment section down below. So thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Bye!